what do we have? You know, we have we have 1984. So your candidacy would be the opposite of 1984. You would attempt to what? Bring in 1776? I would. I, I would like us to go back to the concept that the founding fathers had, which is freedom. Uh, you know, our freedoms are being removed because we were told if we if we give up a few freedoms, uh, then we will have security and safety. But you know, I'm 70 years old, and I can promise you there is no safety in life. And if there is, we have to provide it for ourselves. You know, the government cannot do it. An agency cannot do it. No outside party can provide security and safety for us. Uh, and by giving up the, the freedoms and the, 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 the rights that were given to us through the Constitution uh, and, and were ordained by the Founding Fathers are, are being eroded daily. Now, I, I'm not a politician, and people are going to found me for that. But, but politics, if you, if you look in, in Merriam-Webster, politics is merely the activities uh, and the policies that people use to gain power and keep power within a government. And, and isn't it politics that got us in the mess we're in now? Special interests, uh, people more concerned about maintaining their power, maintaining their position within government than in actually serving the American people. Uh, so I think we need to get back to the basics, get back to the purpose of government. You know, government is not here where I don't need a father. Uh, I don't need a mother. I, I don't need someone to tell me how to live. Uh, I can make those choices on my own. Well, I know this. If they're going to have eight or nine different Republicans up there, a bunch of them just total politicians, I would love to see a Jesse Ventura or a John McAfee up there with them, stirring it up like Trump's done. Because regardless of what you think about Trump, I think he has shaken up the political process. What's your view on Donald Trump? You know, I, I admire Donald Trump. I really do. Um, you know, he, 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 he makes common sense. Uh, he is not a politician. Uh, that's clear. Um, you know, if, if I have any fault with him at all, it's, it's uh, hey, what's with the hair, Donald? But, uh, <laughs> and I, I'm saying that in jest. But I, I admire Donald Trump, and I, I, think, I think that he has courage uh, to, to stand up and do what he's doing. You know, at first they say that he didn't have a shot, and, and I thought he might have been a shill for Hillary or Jeb or something, but I think he really wants to win, and his whole company's based on service industry. He won't do well in a depression. I think he's an old-fashioned entrepreneur and actually loves America more and more, and I think he's got problems, but I think he doesn't like seeing this country fall apart because the globalists wouldn't say make America great again and admit we were in trouble. A globalist candidate wouldn't do the things he's doing, uh, admitting we're being invaded by illegals that we give free handouts to. I mean, that's why he must be for real, because even if he himself isn't, what he's saying is devastating to the establishment. Well, of course. Well, I think someone needs to say the things that he's saying, because we are, our, our, our government has failed. I mean, it is, it is a dysfunctional government in, in every respect. Of, and and when, when, a, when a government becomes dysfunctional, then all aspects of its services and all of its departments also become dysfunctional. Someone has to say it. I've been saying it for years. Uh, you've been saying it. Um, and uh, so I, I admire him for doing that. And, you know, don't, don't discount uh, sure. Trump. I, I think he's, he's going to be a very powerful player. Sure. Well, what it really shows, too, is that what he's saying is popular. In major polls, he's now beating Hillary. Which is what I've said. The average Democrat doesn't have a suicide wish for the country and want to be bankrupt. They're sick of political correctness. I mean, the Democrats of JFK were great people. Who are these new Democrats? And who are these Republicans that work with them? John McAvee may be running for president. He joins us now. We're going to come back and walk through some of the world events with him. The fun part about this job is I get to interview people like Ted Nugent and John McAvee. Hell, Ted Nugent's called in a few times before on the hotline and gotten in. But ever since his wife got arrested with a gun going to the Dallas airport, he's like, I'll come on later, Alex. Like, I got his cell phone number. I'm going to call Ted Nugent today and say, you're going to come on now, buddy. I know he got in a lot of trouble on the show for admitting that gun owners of America had put major heat on the NRA to make them more hardcore because he is a board member of the NRA. But that's why I like Ted Nugent is he's real. And I know nothing against the NRA. They used to be really bad 10 years ago. Now they're really good. We've got to radicalize the liberty movement because we face a radical globalist threat. Milk toasting, it won't beat it. John McAvee.
What is the best website for folks to visit to find out more if you're about to run for president? Uh, I think uh, my, my people have McAfee16.com uh, as uh, the main website. Oh, really? Have you launched that yet? The, the, the website is up, yes. Oh, my gosh, um, McAfee16.com. Are we getting the exclusive? Because I hadn't heard this yet. Are you exclusively letting us know that you may, may uh, fly your flag and run for El Presidente? Well, I think I, I, I talked to a friend of mine at, at um, um, International Business Times, and one of the one of my one of my campaign people, I think, called him and and leaked some information yesterday. But beyond that, yeah, you, I, I'm you're the first person I'm talking to about the fact that I might, in fact, run. If I do run, by the way, you were talking about Donald Trump. I think uh, I, I would look very forward to debating Donald Trump. Um, he's certainly the most interesting and most intelligent of the candidates, and I think. I think that debate would be fun for me. I'm a big um, fan of Rand Paul because I know he's for real. I just wish that it's not helping him to attack Donald Trump with his constituents, and then he's being too milk toast on the immigrant thing. I mean, John, I'm, I, you know, I mean, you're married to a black lady. You've lived all over the world. You're all for great immigrants. So am I. But should Americans have to pay for anchor babies and 40 million illegals? Should Europe have to pay for the Middle Eastern refugees? from war Saudi Arabia starts, but they won't take one refugee? Well, I, I think one of the other problems that, that we face here in America is that people are not taking responsibility for their own lives. Um, if I didn't want to work, for example, if I, I could, I could uh, make up some excuse for not being able to work and, and the government would give, would give me money. Um, there, there's something fundamentally wrong, not, not, with, not with helping people, but with, with creating the attitude that... Um, I don't have to worry about anything because someone will take care of me. It's like, uh, you know, living at home when you're 40. You know, you, your mom and dad will, will, will still take care of you and your mom will cook for you. Exactly. Um, These illegals, but also other deadbeats and people, I'm all for helping somebody with a broken back. They're like 40-year-old spoiled brats telling their mom to make them breakfast and dinner and wash their underwear. It's disgusting. That's what I'm so angry about is that people just expect all this while hardworking Americans of every race, color, and creed are going bankrupt, John. Well, but I, I don't think the problem is is, is simply uh, immigrants. I mean, there are many natural born Americans that that are are taking taking advantage of the same. I system. agree. Uh, so so uh, because America was actually founded on the concept of you know, uh, give us your your poor, your your hungry, or your your uh, uh, your judged, uh, and and it worked pretty well. It's just that we're doing a very bad job of managing that. We're well, sure, we took the poor, the hungry, and put them into piratical, swashbuckling, hella situations, and a lot of folks died. And this was basically like an alien boot camp, like Australia, a penal colony. But but people weren't given anything. That's why we were the best, because we were tough as nails. Right. We, 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 again, we have to get back to basics. We are all responsible for ourselves, for our families, for our loved ones. Um, and... We, 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 we must take back our own lives. We must take back our freedoms because many of those are missing now. We have sure. to take back our privacy because that's eroding at an alarming rate. I'm not sure any of it exists. I'm not sure that, that, that especially someone like you and I, uh, there's probably not a single conversation that you have that is not monitored by some covert agency. Of course, they admit it. We're going to go to break. I'm going to come back and give you the floor to really go through your platform and, 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 and be uninterrupted for about five, ten minutes. Then I want to maybe take some phone calls for you and cover some news if you're okay with that. But think about this. I want to come back and have and, and, and get your answer, John McAfee, uh, McAfee16.com. It's like being a kept woman, or I guess a kept man nowadays, rich women with boyfriends. Are you really free when somebody else controls your whole life and pays the bills? And that's what all this welfare state is about. I mean, this is about enslaving us. John McAvee is our guest. He has filed for president. Is he running? International Business Times just broke it in print today that he's looking at it. We're breaking it via the actual interview. We're on the march. The empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio I Network. I was quiet yesterday and let them scoop us. See how good I am? That's right. I'm sure I do the same shot. thing with my target. I, I, I'll hit it point blank every time. I'm sure every shot is going to be a it's success. Perfect. That's perfect. right. Not going to be shooting 50 cals if you're watching TV. Radio listeners, go to infowars.com forward slash show. We just went out there real quick and shot. 
Actually, he was hitting bullseye about 400 yards and his first shots. Well, John, it's daytime, and these armor-piercing tracers, U.S. Army issue, won't be as spectacular as nighttime. But uh, you want to shoot a couple of these? Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, we'll uh, do that next. A little over a year ago. See, I've lost Both about 60 pounds. Torpedoes away. That's the whole point. I was shooting a tree about 200 yards away right there doing that. It's too dry to fire tracers. Look at that, man. Rapid fire in the 50. Hand held. My type of gun. Well, John, you just got done shooting the 50 over there. We're going to put that on the TV show next week. But right now, you are uh, got that 223 M4 Scorpion. You ready to try it out? Well, yeah, I don't even know it's here. Compared to the 50 caliber, this feels like a feather. That's right. You just handheld and shot the uh, heavy 50 over there. Right. So, so this is shot on my iPhone. My favorite guns. They, All right, that's good. Thing, he just came on the show. He'd been on a few times. We thought, hey, let's drive out to Steiner's Ranch, the real Steiner Ranch. Not their housing development, but their real 12,000-acre ranch outside town. And it uh, reminds me, I need to take the kids out there and go do some more shooting. But uh, John McAvee is our guest Exciting to think of him running for president just to inject him. the ideas of privacy, to use as a bully pulpit to expose what the NSA is doing. Remember, we've gone from just eight, nine years ago, them denying the NSA was spying on anybody, to admitting total surveillance, which is completely illegal. The toll-free number to join us on air, your chance to talk to John McAfee is 800-259-9231. 1-800-259-9231. Now, I'm normally very lenient about plugs and other issues and going down rabbit trails. We're talking about John McAfee running for president and any of the issues he covers, which is a wide open field, but it better be on those subjects. John McAfee, M-C-A-F-E-E, McAfee16.com, running for El Presidente, or he's at least got one foot in the race right now. Guard against the imposters of pretended patriotism. George Washington, a nice George Washington quote up there on the site. So entrepreneur, scientist, engineer, John McAvee, looks like he's getting ready to plunge into the 2016 race. Before I go any further and then ask you that question I just got to a moment ago, I'm going to plug our, our sponsorship, what funds us. We're going to go right back to you. Uh, but then I want to ask you just briefly, well, we'll get there in a moment. Uh, Deep Cleanse is back in. It had been out for three months. Uh, Liver Shield had been out for three months. Super high quality concentrated herbs known to detoxify the body. Also zeolites and other things known to drag out toxins. Deep cleanse will be available for another week or so at current sales rates. Uh, I can tell you liver cleanse, if you want to do the liver cleanse, I'm going to hold back some bottles for myself. Uh, you do it, uh, the six day long cleanse with the oxy powder uh, and with the apple cider vinegar and then some of the, some of the uh, Epsom salts in caplets on the last day with olive oil and it, you just flush out all these stones out of your gallbladder. I didn't believe it till I did it over a year ago. It's just incredible. So InfoWarsLife.com, Deep Cleanse is back uh, in stock. Uh, it, it, we want to keep this stuff in stock all the time. Uh, but you never know what folks are going to be into. So people are really into Deep Cleanse and into Liver Cleanse. So if you want to get those, now is the time. And your purchase supports the broadcast, InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. And then finally, Knockout is back. And I talked about with Anthony in the last hour. We ought to take that video and post it on the site so folks get a breakdown. But it's got uh, GA, BA, gamma, ambiotic acid that helps trigger everything and give it the enzymes it needs to activate it's what I've been told. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm leaf extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan, and melatonin. And it's the same cost as getting valerian root or melatonin with similar dosages by itself. I mean, it's got the dose that's in other stuff. Three milligrams of melatonin, 30 milligrams of valerian root, stuff like that. 100 milligrams of L-theanine, 75 of hops flour, lemon balm, 45 valerian root, as I mentioned. Uh, chamomile flour extract, 18 milligrams. Um, it'll knock you out. 
and and you'll and in my experience get real sleep but not be groggy in the morning because sleeping pills artificially knock you